You might not have heard of Bozendow Technology or the fact that they've decided to consolidate their lens brands to just use the name Astri, Astrori, but maybe you've heard of the brand Rockstar. I think you have. Anyway, according to their Twitter, they are dedicated to the development and production of playable photographic equipment. Now, I think that means fun gear. When we look at their lineup and I've seen what's to come, they definitely have some different lenses, some probably more than others. So today's lens, this 50mm f1.4 tilt for Fujifilm X mount, could be interesting, probably not for everybody, and that's okay. But let's check it out and see what it's all about. I'm not going to say anything about brand names given the situation with this one. Decent packaging though, so far. Would help if I took the tabs off. Yeah, a couple of QR codes there might be worth looking at, but I think they're more for the East Asian market. Yeah, that's cool. Right, so a little product information there that gives you a bit of a heads up on the spec, which we were going to look at anyway. So let's do that with the lens itself. It's a funny feeling thing, <laughs> which if you've seen pictures of it, which you obviously have, you know, this is not your regular 50 mil. And it's cool that people are doing something different, you know, whether this is really what I'm after. <laughs> that is kind of mad. So there's the tilt function. It's quite solid. It's definitely not going to get knocked out. You've got a bit of give there. In pretty much every angle. Oh. Let us know if you've used one for a long time. I suppose it's going to take a while to hear that. Uh, I want to know how you've got on with it build quality wise. Snap cap's trying to get off. Is it even on properly? Let's pull that out a bit. That is stuck on there, isn't it? That's not a good start. There we go. Somebody put that on a bit wrong, I think, mate. So 50mm lens, which is 75mm full frame equivalent on our Fujifilm bodies. We've got a 46 mil filter thread, minimum focusing of 40 centimeters, seven elements in six groups. Pretty half of the course, decent metal mount. I mean, pretty much all the same these days. That's fine, let's get that back on. We've got this d F1.4. Where's the markings on this? Oh, there it is. 1.4 to 16 aperture d -clicked. Not my favorite, but hey. And then here's the manual focusing, which actually, although the spec says 40 centimeters, this is 50 centimeters on here. Anyway, down to infinity. And infinity is a nice hard stop on the scale. That's fine, absolutely fine. Let me just check what this weighs, which usually sends the camera a bit wild. 260, get rid of that, because it didn't even focus. <laughs> right, yeah, interesting. Does this, no, nothing turns around there. That is one curious, curious lens. And I think it's gonna be one of those creative ones but you know we gotta look at it we gotta have a bit of fun yeah let's do just that then After some use, I'm not sure this is one I'll be keeping, even for fun, but that's not to say it's bad, far from it. 
you know, once you get used to the tilt operation, you appreciate the lock and the unlock ring and how to move the lens to control the focal plane as you wish. You know, it does take some getting used to. And it's best used sparingly. And if you go too far, the end result can become a bit too toy-like. Whereas the actual physical build and performance is solid. It's certainly not a toy from that aspect at all. Once you're used to it and confident with tilting the lens, you can actually get some pretty creative, again, fun shots. The lens produces pleasant images, especially in what we'll call standard shooting. Naturally, the more you tilt the focal plane, the less precise things get across the whole frame. So for now, we'll focus on the standard quality and take it from there. Images then are sharp in the center and stopping down to around four, five, six makes a difference at the edges. Distortion is well controlled and there's no real issues with flaring and ghosting. There's also no issues with vignetting in standard mode as always here's a clip where we stop down the aperture and that is clip free by the way you know as we said it is what it is anyway i've left the lens in standard mode there's no tilt going on in this bit so here it is I find the lens resolves colors well, saturation is good and contrast is quite good. The buck isn't bad either and overall the image quality is quite good, which is a good place to start considering once you start moving the focal plane, of course things start to get quite wild. Here's some final samples taken at Aston Hall in Birmingham. You have to hand it to them, they've come out with something that really hasn't been done before on the X-Mount at this end of the market. At £259 or dollars, the overall package is decent, even if it's for somewhat of a limited audience. Of course, you can use the lens as a standard 50mm f1.4 and enjoy it that way, or go wild and tilt, not shift, as a lot of YouTube reviewers are saying. Let's get that clear. Tilt only. You know, you can get some very curious focal plane effects, as I think you've seen in the samples, which in a complete set of images could be the sprinkling that you need to give it that extra bit of fun, that magic touch, maybe. I think video shooters would get some very cool footage out of this lens, too. I'm not sure if the price is where I expected it to be, but when you consider it's far from a standard lens design and it's very well built with decent image quality overall, I guess 259 is very fair for something as unique as this. More importantly, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below if you've tried this lens and I'll see you there.